Chapter 27, Self-Denial. I saw that there was danger of the saints making too great preparations for conferences, that some were encumbered with too much serving, that the appetite must be denied. There is danger of some attending the meetings for the loaves and fishes. I saw that all those who are indulging self by using the filthy weed tobacco should lay it aside and put their means to a better use. Those make a sacrifice who deprive themselves of some gratification and take the means they formerly used to gratify the appetite and put it into the treasury of the Lord. Like the widow's two mites, such gifts will be noticed of God. The amount may be small, but if all will do this, it will tell in the treasury. If all would study to be more economical in their articles of dress, depriving themselves of some things which are not actually necessary, and should lay aside some useless and injurious things, as tea and coffee, giving to the cause what these cost, they would receive more blessings here and a reward in heaven. Many think that because God has given them the means, they may live almost above want, can have rich food, and clothe themselves abundantly, and that it is no virtue to deny themselves when they have enough. Such do not sacrifice. If they would live a little poorer and give to the cause of God to help forward the truth, it would be a sacrifice on their part, and when God rewards every man according to his works, it would be remembered by him.